Hey guys, welcome to my new Godot beginner tutorial series where we will be building an endless runner game in Godot. So I just want to take you through what we will be building. So if we hit play over here, you will see we've got a character which is animated and runs and just picks up bones and can jump over these barrels and collect them and if they touch the barrel then it ends the game and you can restart so what i want to just do in this tutorial series uh, because this original project wasn't uh, that well structured i want to start to just teach you a little bit more about uh, some software design principles and the ones i want to talk about is specifically the dry principle so do not repeat yourself. So we will be starting to incorporate a lot of decoupling within our projects just to make them extremely extensible and useful to just reuse scenes and code and everything all over the place just to increase uh, that development time or decrease the development time actually so that you can start building more features inside of your games faster once you have the correct structure. So the other thing we're going to use is something called YAGNI, which stands for you aren't gonna need it. So what we'll do is we won't add any features until we actually do need them for the game. We will do an initial analysis to see what objects we need, what code we think we might need and set those up initially. But in terms of colliders and things which we are unsure about in the, the beginning stages of the development, we won't be adding until we actually do need them for something. So we'll be following this principle throughout this tutorial series. And then we will also just follow the KISS principle, which is in essence just to keep things very simple and self-explanatory so we don't have to overcomplicate things and then finally solid which some of you might be familiar with uh, we probably can't implement it fully because Godot doesn't have uh, interfaces so it's going to be pretty difficult to uh, work with Liskov and interface segregations so but we'll try and uh, implement as much as possible especially the single responsibility principle uh, we will definitely be incorporating that just to make sure every little component in our game has a single responsibility. So the structure of this uh, tutorial series is going to be very much, um, how can I say, improvised. I'm not going to be doing any editing. When there are errors on screen, we're going to work through them and debug them. I just find that this is more useful for my viewers because they can actually then understand where things can go wrong and how to fix them and what approaches to take to actually just fix these issues as they come up. So that's how I'm going to uh, structure this tutorial series for you. And then uh, let's just quickly look at the artwork that uh, I used. So I just uh, created some random concepts uh, in Inkscape. So initially I started off with this building. I wanted it to be uh, this dog running through the city and collecting bones and just dodging barrels. But then I wanted to actually do something a little bit more scenic. So I came up with this uh, background over here. So it's more like a, a lost dog in the mountains. And they just happen to randomly be barrels and bones lying around, which is a little bit hilarious actually, because it doesn't make sense. But uh, that's not the purpose of this uh, tutorial series. It's to teach you how to create an endless runner where we have pickups and uh, obstacles which can hurt our player. So guys, uh, that's just the introduction to this tutorial series. Uh, in the next one, we will start uh, looking at the various components we need to actually build up our, our game. So how we will approach this is we will look at all the, the, all the objects we need within our game, and then we're going to break them up and create them beforehand. So we'll create all our scenes uh, beforehand, and then we kind of 
will use them as objects which will make up their entire game in the end so it's a very different approach to doing this so please do bear with me it's going to take a while for us to get to this point where the game is fully implemented so do watch all the videos and guys if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because uh, there's going to be quite a few of these tutorials coming and uh, you're not going to want to miss them so thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers